All right, this is John 14, 16, my favorite verse in the Bible because my revelations are based on this. And I will always, I will always be referring to John 14, 16 because this is speaking of the Paracletus of the Advent, okay? This is another verse that Christianity and Catholic system, when I, well, I'm going to make sure that you understand that when I say Christianity, I mean Catholics and the Orthodox and everyone included, okay? They have destroyed this verse, destroyed it completely, okay? Because they say that this verse is speaking of Jesus uh, saying that he's going to send the Holy Spirit. Okay, and that is preposterous because Jesus did not send any Holy Spirit in the way that you know the Christians uh, preach. Okay, so you saw you saw in this verse here because the Spirit is truth. Okay, so because this way of thinking is truth. Right? So now I'm gonna do this so that you could connect things and realize the logic behind this. Okay, because there has to be logic in the Bible. Christians say things that are that make no sense like like you have to have the spirit of god to understand the bible no you have to have the way of thinking of god to understand the bible not some spirit not some entity so here jesus is telling his disciples and i will pray the father this is uh, this is the king james translation i'm going to show you how terrible this is and I will pray the Father, and he will, shall give you another comfort. The word is parakletos. The word here is parakletos, which means advocate. It does not mean comforter. It does not mean helper. It means advocate, okay? And if you don't know it, this word in Greek, another, is the word alos, which means another of the same kind. So if Jesus is the advocate, Jesus is the spirit of the truth, Jesus is saying, I am going to ask the Father to give you another advocate. If Jesus is the advocate, and Jesus is saying that he's going to ask for another advocate like him. He cannot be saying that he's going to send the Holy Spirit because Jesus is not some Holy Spirit. So this is the big lie. This huge, humongous lie has been preached almost for 2,000 years by Christianity. And they continue to preach this lie. And whenever you put on a, a, a talk show or a program about uh, some pastor, some preacher preaching this thing, it's a lie. What they're telling you is a lie, okay? And I'm just, I'm, I'm proving it to you with logic and reason, okay? That he may abide with you forever. Also, this word here means into the age. But you want to say, you want to take forever? That's fine. Now, the King James Bible says, even the spirit of truth this word is not in the original language so they added this word to to like make a sound that is a spirit that jesus is going to send but that's not what it says there okay the spirit of truth okay when you go here the spirit is truth this is the same thing so jesus is going to ask for another advocate and the advocate is this spirit of truth, this way of thinking of the truth, this person of the truth. The King, James, the King James Bible says, whom the world cannot receive. Okay, this is wrong. And I could show you another translation. I'll show you the Rotherham translation if you don't believe me. Remember, in the Greek language, the word in Greek, the word spirit is neuter. In Hebrew, it's feminine. It's never masculine. They did this they turn it into masculine with their trinity and their and their you know their nonsense now look at this translation which is more accurate with the greek right because the word spirit is neuter because it's not a an entity it's not a human being you cannot say who or he like that in the sense okay of gender okay so and also you, you notice rotherham uses the word advocate another advocate he doesn't use the word comforter and over here he doesn't say forever he says age abidingly okay so into the age okay the spirit of truth okay this over here again this should not be the but this way of thinking of truth or of the truth wish okay wish let me do the parallel bible here so you can see it better and we're going to do the King James and we're going to do Rotherham. 
so you could see both verses side by side all right so here you have the king james on the top and you have rather on the bottom okay so the first problem here is the word comforter okay and then you have here i don't the word i don't look okay i don't want to get too much into the john 14 16 because i wanted to talk about uh one one john 5 6 but it's to is to make you understand what jesus is really saying okay because what you have been hearing are all lies okay so notice here that even okay the spirit of the, the spirit of truth this word even is not here okay it's not here they added this word <laughs> what does the bible says do not add or take away anything from the bible so whoever did this has a big problem in judgment day okay the spirit of the truth okay so this way of thinking of the truth now you notice here wish okay and over here the king james bible said whom again making it like the spirit is a like they say a person an entity a being and they want to call it a whom but it's not it's a way of thinking, which is, of course, it's an it. It's not a living thing or or human or anything. All right? So it's not whom is wish. The world cannot receive because it beholdeth it not. Okay? Over here it says because it seeth him not. This makes no sense. Okay? Because what if the world, the world saw, the world saw Jesus? They didn't believe in Jesus. Over here it says he doesn't believe, he cannot receive because he seeth him not. But that's not what this is saying. He's talking about this way of thinking. The world cannot receive this way of thinking because this is the way of thinking of the truth. And the world has the spirit of the world, which is a lie, right? Like from their father, the devil, the adversary, right? So the world cannot receive this way of thinking of the truth. It is not that the world cannot receive an entity because that makes no sense, right? It's all about thinking. It's all about how you think. It's not about entities or spiritual beings in spiritual dimensions. That's not what the Bible teaches, all right? Because if behold it not, nor get to know it or, or doesn't know it. But ye are getting to know it. Ye are getting to know this way of thinking okay because with you it abides so this way of thinking is with them because jesus is with them okay and this way of thinking of the truth is already in them okay now i'm going to show you something okay and it is and in you it is this is one of the biggest lies of christianity okay because they will read this to you and when somebody's reading something to you and you just take it like that and you believe it you are the one at fault for believing something without checking it okay you go to a church you sit there you hear something and you're like emotional you get all emotional and then you take that lie so now your foundation foundation is based on a lie so everything you say on top of that will be a lie until one day it's discovered and then everything underneath you everything falls because everything was based on a lie okay now if you go to the to the King James Bible, and this is, you see, and it shall be in you. That's why Christian says that Jesus was going to send them the Holy Spirit and he was going to come on the day of Pentecost. But this is not talking about the Holy Spirit, about the set apart way of thinking. This is talking about the spirit of truth, okay? Because Jesus came to testify of the truth. So, and I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get too much into this, okay? But this here, it shall be in you is a lie. It is in you already. It was in them. The spirit of truth was in them. If not, they would not be able to listen to Jesus, to accept Jesus' teaching. Because Jesus said, He who is of the truth hears my words. If you're not of the truth, you don't you know like you don't you don't pay attention to his words, then they don't they're not in you, they're not part of you. Okay? So John 5 6. The spirit is truth. This is the same thing. This is the spirit of the truth. This is the way of thinking of the truth. And this is not saying because the spirit is the truth. No, this is 
completely erroneous. This is because this way of thinking is the truth. This is the way of thinking of the truth. And I just wanted to point that out and I'm going to be revealing and pointing out all these things that are that have been completely twisted and distorted by Christianity. And from this, you could now start to deprogram yourself, to, to start looking for yourself. And I know you're going to go to the Bible now and you're going to start seeing what everything you have believed is a lie. And I'm going to show all these things that do not make sense the way that Christianity present, presents it like the Trinity. Knowing that the Trinity is a lie is knowing that the Catholic Church is a lie. It's all a lie for, for everything they do, for everything they say. The Pope is not the advocate, right? How could the, how could the pope, pope be the advocate, the, the vicar of Christ, the representative of Christ, when Jesus, when Jesus said, when the advocate come, he will do these things. The Pope has never done those things because you could see everything they say is a lie. So the Catholic Church is a lie. Christianity is a lie. Islam is a lie. And Judaism is half lies. You know, they're not in the clear either. But if there's anybody that follows the word of God in, in this world are the Jews. But that's for another, another day. All right, so I wanted, uh, I, oh, and I wanted to say, you see, the Jews didn't know this. The Jews don't know really what the word spirit means. So I must be the Messiah because I reveal it. Once they find out, once they see what it means, it takes away that, that fog, you know, of what it doesn't mean that God is spirit or the spirit of God or the Holy Spirit of God, right? Because there has been the cloud that has covered, you know, the the minds of people all right so that's it that's 1 john 5 6 now you know that th when you read the bible you have to like say wait a minute wait a minute what your pastor told you what the guy on youtube told you what the book you read told you is all a lie even in the scripture is translated in a way that you cannot understand it because no one has ever bothered to say what is a spirit everybody say no a spirit is an, an invisible entity and you see you see it in, like in my country where i'm from you know people believe in spirits and demons and all those things and there's no such things because when you believe in that then you will always be in limbo you will always be in confusion you will never you know you will never know the truth that's why jesus says i am going to ask the father and he will give you another advocate this person of the truth, this person who's going to clarify things for you. He will guide you into all the truth of God. Okay, I'm not going to guide you into the truth of engineering or anything like that. Into the truth of God and what is God and what is all this about. Okay, and that's it. That's it for 1 John 5, 6. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for, thanks for, for watching.